Big news hit the college football world today. And even as a Buckeye fan, I thought this had gone away. I even made a, a video saying that we need to move on from the sign stealing scandal. But I guess the NCA doesn't want us to. So today, it was reported that supposedly the NCAA is going to issue Michigan a notice of allegations either tomorrow or before the end of the week. So Connor Stallions, who is at the forefront of the sign stealing scandal, is going to, re to receive level one violations, apparently for not being honest and forthcoming and basically basically refusing to comply and two other staffers are going to receive level two allegations i think it's for something separate something about uh dinner with recruits i i, I don't know but all i read is level two violations and then you have they, they didn't name the staffer but they had erase it's someone who's currently on the staff they had erased texts from their phone between them and Connor Stallions. But anyways, I'm going to be honest. I thought this had gone away. After Michigan won the national championship, the NCAA indirectly pointed to the fact that even after the sign-stealing scandal was exposed, Michigan kept on winning. They beat Penn State, Maryland, Ohio State, won the uh, Big Ten Championship, beat Alabama in overtime, and effortlessly won the national championship against the Washington Huskies. But so this this surprises me, but I get I guess they're they're not done with Michigan. So the remedy that's being pointed to for all this is a one to two year postseason ban. Now don't don't expect that to happen this season. Um, the word is that the soonest it could happen is mid 2025. Um, I'm not coming up with this on my own. I'm just reporting what I read. Now, if this happens, Sharon Moore's leadership, his true leadership, is going to be put to the test. If a one to two year postseason ban happens, you're pretty much for the next two years, one to two years, playing spoiler. The seasons are meaningless. You you have you have all these recruits or current players who came to Michigan. I'm just, I've, I've read a lot of quotes. One reason why they want to go to Michigan is to win a national championship. And now that this possible one to two season ban is going to happen, who's to say that we won't see a mass exodus in the transfer portal? But again, you know, it, it was just reported today that Michigan could be seeing a notice of allegations by earliest tomorrow or the end of the week. So, hold on to your seats. This could be a wild ride.